bitch, cowboy, bitch, you what? I'm the cow. What's that? I'm an alien. Oh no, oh no. Don't worry, I come in peace. Hehe, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> well, I don't. Pew, 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 pew. I lied, neither do I. Pew, 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 pew. Hi, I'm Jeff Becker, uh, creator of Alterkind. Here to talk to you about my new book, Planetary Survey. Inside Planetary Survey, you'll find all sorts of... Dude. Blank pages. That sucks. Um, I guess that's why I need your help. Um, so, I'm here to talk to you about it. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a little flip book there. Uh, a little bit further. Yeah. No. Over... Yeah, right there. So, inside that is what I kind of hope it looks like when it's all done. To help me out, I'm here to beg for your money. Um, got all sorts of great pledge levels, starting with this cool little sticker here for just a couple bucks. Um, further levels include these sweet little pins with all sorts of the new races. Got the Paracor, the Oldham, and the Etikin. Different levels include some of the books in different formats, including, of course, Planetary Survey, because that's what this is for. Um, other ones include the Player's Handbook, which inside you'll find all sorts of stuff like uh, prestige classes, mutations, cybernetics. Um, further, you can go ahead and pledge and get Dossier. It's my second book. It's in beautiful color. Check that out. It's full of more class options. You can customize everything, all that. And then you can also go ahead and get The Ones We Were. It's a module for it. Got uh, all sorts of cool little mutants in there. Aliens crash. There's a crazy cult leader. Um, also, if you go ahead, you can get this awesome GM screen uh, designed by Stephen McAndrews. He's a pretty sweet dude. On the back is all the helpful information so you don't get lost. Um, yeah, so uh, that's my stuff. I hope you check it out. Share with your friends, anyone that might be interested in... You know, role-playing, use a D20 Pathfinder kind of system. Um, yeah, great. And thank you for checking me out. I look forward and I'm hopeful that you help me out. Later. Oh, hey, um, I forgot to tell you about some of the reviews that I've got. Um, Denver Comic Con calls me a favorite. Uh, there was a guy there that said, hey, this looks pretty cool. I think I'll tell my friend about it. Um, my mom, she says, that's nice, dear. And she also thinks I'm very handsome. So uh, thanks for checking me out. Um, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and tell your friends about it. And thanks again. Oh. Hi, I'm Scott Gable here at Zombie Sky Press. You ever wish you had more Pathfinder role-playing game options for the Fae? More delightfully weird options? As a longtime lover of the Fae, I've been hunting far and wide for more ways to incorporate them into my gaming life. And the answer, my friends, is the Fairy Ring. This is the book that gets into the nitty gritty, into the down and dirty of all things Fae. It spills all their darkest secrets and pulls out your inner trickster. This is the book the Fae do not want you to read. But we've got you back, friends. We think you need to know, and soon. We're so close to finishing this first step and the design and the illustrations are blowing us away. The book has 10 chapters focused on powerful fey lords. Maybe they're the bad guys in a campaign, maybe they're the patrons of the party, maybe they're both. Each chapter provides extensive details on a specific fey lord and their servitors. Each chapter has a new fey player race, new fey monsters, cities, planes, and more. I can't wait for you to see what we have planned and I hope you'll support Zombie Sky Press in bringing you more fey. By now, you probably have seen the first video where we showed you the COD format for the game Mercs. In this video, we would like to show you the basic movement system used during the game. On the table is the USCR medic with his card positioned ready to be moved. This model has two movement points, but for this demonstration we will focus on using just one. Based on his starting position, 
and the way in which the card is currently placed, he can move into one of the three half circles near the top of the card. This model could move full forward to the front circle, or to the right half circle, or even to the left front circle. While moving, it is important to note that you do not have to turn when moving. Let's show you an example. For instance, if I place the card in this position, I can move my model here while not turning the facing of the model. You can turn up to 90 degrees for free. If you choose to turn a full 90 degrees, that will cost you one movement point or one MP. For this demonstration, I am only using 1 MP of the model stats. By placing the card in this position, I can move my model over to here with a slight turn to potentially face my opposition. I can also move my model here and turn 45 degrees to his flank to focus on maybe a different target. Here is another example of how my USCR medic can move and turn to face the Kemvar leader. This is an example of turning less than 90 degrees while moving toward your opponent. I place my card down, I then turn my model up to his 90 degrees facing my leader, then I can move the card length. From this position, you can see how the USCR medic has a good advantage over the Kemvar leader. Another kind of move is called backpedaling. This is where a model may want to move into a position to face a model starting to make his way to its flank or back arc. Backpedaling does, however, cost two movement points. If a model has less than 2 MP, they would not be able to perform this movement type. I will begin by placing my card against my model, facing behind the model, and then move the card length while also turning up to the 90 degrees for free. This results in the Kemvar leader now being in the USCR's front arc. The last type of movement in the game Mercs is a very unique ability called Snap to Cover. Snap to Cover is a free move that allows you to move into or around cover. You have to be within a base length in order to perform the move. If I were to move my USCR medic in this position, he would be out in the open. I am allowed to move to this position for 1 MP. Here is how you can snap to cover. I will use another base in order to demonstrate how the mechanic works. I can move up to one base length for free. By doing so, it has now allowed the USCR medic to gain cover against the Kemvar assault leader. Note this movement can be performed before or after a move action. Here is an example of snapping to cover prior to my movement. I would like to move around the barrels in this example. Because I am within a base length, I can proceed to snap to this location with my USCR medic. Then I can follow up by moving my normal movement using the card.
as you can see, I was able to go from this location to here by snapping to cover prior to a move. Did you notice I had trouble placing my card in the last example due to the barrels? Well, if you did, great, because the Merck cards also have alternate markings for moving in 3D type terrain. We need to look at the card in a close-up view in order for you to see how this is achieved. I have noted four white hash marks above and below with blue dots. You can turn the cards on their edge instead of laying them face down. By using the white hash marks, you can simulate the placement from the back of the card, movement to a side circle area, or moving the full card length by placing your model's back edge even with the top white hash marks. In our very last video, you will see examples of using the card edges for terrain that prohibits a flat facing card. Thank you for watching the second video in our series of movement for the game Mercs.